When I tell you that I got chills all over my entire body and the hairs on the back of my neck stood up, as soon as I seen this and started to read what it was, y'all, let me tell you, like I heard God speak to me in my spirit and I just felt like the fear of the Lord come upon me and I just heard him say two words, I'm coming. If you are a child of God, you know that this is not just a coincidence. And if you are still in denial that the Lord Jesus Christ is getting ready to return or that he's even real for that fact, then the God of this world has just blinded your mind. I seriously never thought or believed in a million years that I would be a part of the generation of Jesus Christ's return. Like this is mind blowing to say the least. So this statue was just placed outside of the United Nations headquarters in New York. And it is considered the guardian of international peace and security. You see, the Bible says that in the last days that the whole world is going to be in a state of perplexity and that people's hearts are going to be filling them with fear. So right now, the world is looking for peace and safety. You see, but as a Christian, we know what God says about these things and we believe it. 1 Thessalonians 5.3 For when they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction comes upon them as a labor pains upon a pregnant woman and they shall not escape. You see, because the world is trying to search for peace apart from God, and it'll never happen. Now let's talk about the description of this thing. Revelation 13, 2 says, Now the beast which I saw was like a leopard. His feet were like the feet of a bear, and his mouth like the mouth of a lion. The dragon gave him his power, his throne, and great authority. You see, before I just had speculation that the United Nations was going to have something to do with ushering in the Antichrist and the beast system, no longer speculation. And I know that a lot of Bible prophecy is very symbolic, but like how much more clear of a description can you get? Daniel 7, 4. The first was like a lion and had eagle's wings. This is not a coincidence, you guys. Like, you can call Christians crazy and delusional and laugh and mock and scoff all you want. But the people of Noah's days did the exact same thing to him when he tried to warn them about God's coming judgment. 